Have you heard of the Chuck E. Cheese pizza theory and why you shouldn't eat their pizza? No, what is that? Okay, so basically there's a theory that employees will go clean the tables, right? And when families are done eating, they'll take the pizza that's left, take it to the back, create a new pizza, and then serve it to someone else. Are you serious? Have you noticed that, like, Domino's, Pizza Hut, their pizzas are always very round. Yeah. Right? But Chuck E. Cheese, it's not an equally round pizza. Oh, my. I remember that. When we were kids, when yeah. we'd go, it would never be equal. It would always be really messed up. Right. And you know when you cut a pizza, usually they go top to bottom, top to bottom, right? But Chuck E. Cheese, you'll see that the slices. The cuts don't match. Right. So they're a bunch of random pieces put together. That's crazy. I There's a theory that all birds are fake. <laughs> No, hear me out. 1972, ex-CIA agent Eugene Price was assigned to Operation Water the Country. Okay, what's Operation Water the Country? His job was to remove all birds <laughs> and replace them with surveillance drones. What? No, hear me out. 1972, we're in the middle of the Cold War. Okay. The U.S. needs some sort of surveillance to make sure there's no Russian spies in the country. I mean, I guess I wouldn't expect a bird to be like a spy or drone. Like I, I Exactly, think right? You ever wonder why they sit on the wire now? Why? They're charging. <laughs> Oh my gosh. No, have you ever seen a dead bird on the ground? I've never seen a dead bird on the ground. Oh my gosh. I've never seen a dead bird on the ground. They don't die. They oh charge. Oh my gosh. They charge. Have you ever heard of the Incredibles theory? No, what is that? Enda Mode's the best superhero in the Incredibles. What? You know like how she's known for making superhero suits? Yeah. So in her early years, she actually made a suit for a hero named Stratagel. Stratagel was a teenager who had super strength and could fly. But unfortunately, she died because her cape got stuck into an airplane engine. Oh, I remember that from the movie. So ever since then, Enda Mode swore to never put capes on suits. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is where the theory comes in. Uh -huh. Years later, there's this guy that comes up to Enda Mode and says, Hey, can you make me a suit? I'm a big fan of Mr. Incredible. Can you help me out? Edna Mode's like, sure. But there's something about this guy that's like really sketchy and makes Edna Mode feel like, oh, there's some evil in this guy. Oh. So she builds him the suit, but she purposely puts a cape on the suit knowing that it will hurt him one day. What? That guy becomes Syndrome. No way. And we all know how Syndrome dies. His cape gets stuck onto the airplane engine just like Stratagale. Are you, dude, that makes so much sense. And that's why Edna Mode's the ultimate hero of the story. Dude, dude we gotta give Edna more credit, man. Right? Did you know that the drink Coca-Cola was actually made to save people's lives? Oh, stop it. Every time I go to the dentist's office, they're always telling me, don't drink soda and don't drink dark soda. No, so in 1865, Dr. John Pemberton, the creator of Coca-Cola, fought in the Civil War and mid-fight got severely injured and was given morphine to stop the pain. <laughs> the Pepsi family out there with their gun trying to take down the creator of Coke. Yeah. <laughs> so luckily, he survived the war, but unfortunately became very addicted to the medication morphine. And when used the wrong way, morphine can be really dangerous. Yeah, morphine's known to like shut down your organs. Right. And after trying many different formulas and concoctions to stop his addiction, he finally created Pemberton's French wine coca. Yeah, you're trying to be like Bill Nye. So it not only helped him with his addiction, it helped many people around the U.S. with depression, anxiety, and headache. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. But in 1885, alcohol was banned, and he had to change his whole formula. And that formula is what is known as today as Coca-Cola. So what you're trying to say is that Coke no longer saves lives. Nope. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs>